Good morning. Hello, everybody. We're glad, glad you're you here came today. To kids today. Yeah, thanks for being here. All right, here is our wonders. Welcome to Kids Chat. Celebrate wonder. Our faith word this month is guide, which means showing the way like the light of Christ. Our wonder questions this week are, have you ever been in a storm? Mm. Yep. Was it scary? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. How can Jesus be our guide when we are scared? Hmm. Good questions. That is a good question. I was in a really big storm once and it was very scary because I was in the car. Mm, me too. Yeah. All right, let's say our prayer. Right, Dear God, please be our guide. Help us to follow you. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's sing our song about the Lord's Prayer. <laughs> Miss Katie. That was so great. All right. Our Bible story comes from Mark 4, verses 35 through 41. It's about the time when Jesus calms the storm. <coughs> Jesus had been teaching the crowds. At the end of the day, Jesus said to the disciples, his friends, let's go across to the other side of the lake. They left the crowd and took a boat out into the water. Big, strong winds began blowing. 
I moved my thing. The water, the big strong winds began blowing the water against and into the boat. The disciples were scared, but Jesus. Okay, Miss Pat. The last, the last we heard was, oh, now it says my internet is unstable. Oh, no. <laughs> so it That's says the. Good. Yeah. The water or the disciples were scared, but Jesus was asleep in the back of the boat. Yep, go ahead and finish it. Okay. The disciples woke Jesus up and said, Teacher, don't you care that we are drowning? Jesus got up and told the wind to be silent and still. The wind settled down and everything was calm. Jesus asked the disciples, Why are you afraid? Don't you have faith yet? The disciples were filled with wonder because of what Jesus had done. They looked at each other and said, who is this man? Man, the wind and the sea obey him. And the, I love question, this story. the question says, have you ever been in a storm? What was it like? It is scary, Miss Katie. It is. It's very scary because you don't know what's going to happen. No. Mm hmm Sometimes it's also cool listening to lightning and thunder. Yeah, I do yeah. like lightning and thunder. Yeah. <laughs> but we always have to remember to trust God and that he is always with us, even during the scary times. That's right. All right, here's our wonder video. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see. Oh. Jesus comes to storm. Oh, there it is. There it is. Greetings, I'm Samuel. In today's story, Jesus is in a boat with his disciples. After a long day of teaching, Jesus is tired and is ready to cross the lake. When he gets in the boat, Jesus falls asleep. While he's sleeping, a storm comes and rocks the boat back and forth. The disciples get really scared. I would be too. They wake up Jesus and ask him how he can sleep when the boat is rocking so hard. Jesus tells the wind to calm down and the waters became calm again. Whoa, the disciples are amazed. After Jesus calms the storm, he says to the disciples, why are you frightened? Don't you have faith yet? In this moment, Jesus reminds us that our faith is not just important during good times. Jesus shows us to have faith when things are hard, too. One time, the power went out in my house, and I was in my room alone. And I was really scared because I don't like the dark. I left my room and went to find my parents. I always feel safe with them. And I knew I would feel better when I got to them. When I got to their room, they gave me a big hug and reminded me that I would be okay. They also gave me a flashlight, which made the dark not as scary. After they gave me the flashlight, they told me this story. My dad said the disciples were scared in their storm too. Jesus came and he calmed it. Jesus also reminded them to have faith, even when it's hard too. I was still a little scared, but the story gave me hope. My parents took out more flashlights so that we could make shadow animals on the wall with them. I realized everything was okay, even though it started off scary. Jesus shows us what to do in difficult times, in times of trouble. We can use Jesus as a guide. This can be hard when you're afraid and you don't know what to do. Remember, Jesus is with us in every situation. Whether you are feeling really good or having a really hard time, even when it's hard, we can have faith. Now it's your turn to wonder. Miss Katie, uh -huh. do you know what makes me really happy? What? Can you hear me okay? Yep. Yeah makes me really happy to know that I have Jesus when I'm really scared and that he's with me. me That's too. a super good feeling, guys. 
Yes, yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. Our faith word is guide, showing the way like the light of Christ. All right, our Bible verse is Psalm 119, verse 18. Open my eyes so I can examine the wonders of your instruction. Let's say that one more time. Open my eyes so I can examine the wonders of your instruction. Great job. All right, guys. I found this and I thought this is kind of cool to make. And I also put the directions in an email to your parents, so you don't have to try to get it off of here. But it's called a wave bottle. And it can be really fun to hold on to, particularly if you're upset or scared. You can sit and you can roll it back and forth and watch the waves. And it just makes you feel good. And it has stuff in it that you probably have at home, like a plastic water bottle, and some oil, some water, and some food coloring. You could also put rocks and stuff in it if you want. Or you could just make it with the liquids, and it's really fun to watch. So tell your parents, if you want to make one, to look at their emails, and they'll find out how to do it. That looks <laughs> awesome. I'll have to make one for Arthur. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's say pray together. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, who calms the storm and helps us have faith. Amen. Amen. All right, remember friends, God loves you, God remembers you, and God is always with you. And also, happy Valentine's Day. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. We love all of you. We hope you have a great day. Yes, hope you have a great week too. See you next week, guys. Bye friends. Bye-bye.